Hey everybody. I'm sure most of you watching this video are probably used to using your smartphone as your personal music device. Either you store music on it or you stream music to it while you're on the go doing whatever. Either you have this connected to a Bluetooth speaker or you have a set of earphones plugged up or what have you. Smartphones nowadays, we use them to play back music, we use them as a small handheld computer, we use them as our camera, among other things. But about 12 to 15 years ago, before everybody had a smartphone, and your mobile phone was just a little flip phone cell phone, we had these things, an MP3 player. Now, of course, this here is a SanDisk Sansa Fuse, which is a knockoff of an iPod, which still works, by the way. This is from around 2009, or 2008, that era. I believe I got it in 2009. This is actually a warranty replacement. The original one I had uh, failed under warranty, and I had to RMA it back to SanDisk, and they issued this one. So, yeah, I, this thing, as you may be able to tell, has been heavily loved and abused and used. All of the purple coating is just completely worn off of it. And a matter of fact, it's on the verge of splitting open. <laughs> but uh, it still comes on and runs. The battery isn't so hot, but uh, I mean, this here, you could use it to play back your music. And also, um, with a SanDisk Media. Uh, program that you could download off the website back in the day you could convert your videos into a format that this could play and you could actually play back videos on this thing and if the four gigabytes of storage was not enough you could add more using this micro SD slot on the side so this is quite nice back in its time but if you want to listen to music on the go like not in a car but let's say you're out jogging, bike riding, or whatever, and you want, or just going out for a walk, and you want to listen to your music, well, of course, y'all probably know back in the day, we, <laughs> we all had a uh, collection of CDs. Getting music before the days of just downloading off the internet, um, you tip, it, it typically involved going to the store and buying it on a CD, buying an album on a CD. And of course, playing back that CD, you had to have a CD player. CD players were big. We all know that. CD players were big. But companies like Philips, among others, did the best they could to innovate and make the best of the situation. Therefore, we, have, we had products like this right here. This, guys, is a new old stock, still sealed in the factory packaging, Philips compact portable CD player. You had the CD player itself. You had a little indicator on here, probably to skip through, through the different tracks. It claimed 30 hours of playing time on two AA batteries. It plays CD, CDR, and CDRW discs. That way you could listen to that music that you ripped off a line wire too. Digital dynamic bass boost. 30 tracks programmable. It came with this pouch. It came with this little handheld wearable remote control, which isn't wired. You can see a little wire on the side of it. So you would have this clipped onto like your pants pocket. Or what have you. And you could hold this in your hand and you could play pause or skip tracks without having to dig this out of your pocket or unclip it from your pants or whatever. So turn this around. You can see it came with of course the pouch, the C player itself, there's instructions in there even came with a set of earphones. So again, still sealed in the factory packaging. 
I know some of y'all may be thinking I'm going to open this up. I may open it in the future, but as of right now, I think I'm going to leave it here in the packaging because this is like a piece of history when you think about it. Of course, again, nowadays we're so accustomed to using our smartphones to either store our music or stream it from a streaming service. Of course, a lot of us just listen to music on YouTube or whatever. And, of course, you know, you could have it hooked up to a Bluetooth speaker, have it hooked up to your car's radio system, if you have a newer car that supports that, or if you have an older car with a newer stereo receiver in it that supports it. But, back in the day, before the days of MP3 players being easily accessible and affordable, this is how we did it. We, we basically used CDs and we used a CD player to play it on the go. Pretty cool, huh? So I'm not sure when this was made. It's a model AX5219-17. So I'm looking at the back of this CD player, what well, I can see, um, I'm looking to see if there's any date code or whatever, I'm not seeing a date code. It would be interesting to kind of um, figure out when this was made. Now of course, I haven't really taken a chance to look that up online. Maybe when you guys could leave me a comment. And when you think this was made, I'm going to guess early 2000s, maybe 2002, 2003, something like that. Perhaps maybe 04, I don't know. Or it could be older, it could be the late 90s, like 1997, 1998. Who knows? Anyways, I think this is really cool. And my friend, she found this at a thrift store, I think, I think it's at a thrift store. Didn't hardly pay anything for it, to my understanding. And she gave it to me as a gift for Christmas. So what do you think, guys? I know some of you watching this video are probably... Um, were probably born after the year 2000 and didn't get to grow up in the 90s and witness the good old days when we had to use portable CD players to take our music on the go. <laughs> Unless you want to listen to FM radio. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to Kukur channel, and be sure to tick the bell that way you get notified of new video posts. Also, I recommend following Kukur Company on Facebook. A link is in the video description. In addition to computer tech videos, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX. Links are available at the end of this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching and your support.